What's up everybody and this is Danny and I'm excited today to be bringing you coverage of the Nokia Lumia 1020 with this giant 41 megapixel Carl Zeiss lens and it's hard to make this uneventful box look good but we'll give it a try so let's go ahead and unbox this thing and let's see what comes inside the package. First things first, this is $299 on contract and it is exclusive to AT&T as of the making of this video. But unboxing this, you get a quick start guide and you also get a pretty cool thing here where it's paired with NFC on the back for instructions on how to take great photographs and I think it launches the app or the tutorial. But here is the device itself and this is the yellow version it comes in a matte white and a black as well and you get a free 20 by 30 poster with a voucher code pretty cool and i really like this thing the gentle rattle you hear when shaking your lumia 1020 is and that is the optical stabilization that's in there so the sound of blur free photos very cool for some i think that's a hardware defect and it's not you get some warranty information wall plug micro USB to USB charging cord and you also get a lanyard which is nice and the SIM removal tool. So let's go ahead and remove all the plastic from the front and from the camera itself and you also get a plastic of all the ports and connections that are on the back and let's go and take a look. So you're greeted by that same screen that was on the Nokia Lumia 920 and on the side you will see all of your buttons which is your volume rocker your power button and your two-stage shutter key which is very important for a device like this and up top when you remove that plastic piece you will see the microphone secondary microphone 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the sim door and on the other side all you see is just smooth polycarbonate plastic and this is the star of the show here the 41 megapixel pure view camera which is imported pretty much from the pure view 808 and this is the first edition of this to windows phone and this is very exciting for windows phone and smartphone cameras in general the only downside to this is that the camera hump is kind of large so it does protrude when you put this thing flat on a surface but trust me it is nowhere near as bad as the Galaxy S4 zoom with a 16 megapixel camera with 10 times optical zoom so I'll definitely pin these up together so subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that video. So let's go ahead and without further ado take a look at this camera and boot this thing up. So if you didn't know already, it comes with Windows Phone 8 and either you love it or you hate it, it comes with that tiled interface and it does come with some AT&T bloatware but you can easily uninstall that so that is nice that they didn't lock that on there and either it's exactly the same experience that you're going to get on the other Windows phones and there are some additions like Halo Spartan Assault and some other apps that uh, they're trying to add to the store and Nokia does a pretty good job of differentiating itself with some of their apps for the Windows 8 platform uh, but it's pretty much the exact same and you're going to be missing some key apps. So the big deal about this is the ProCam app that is included in the Lumia 1020. And of course, just like the other ones, half stage shutter and a full press to get a shot. And it is saving. And what it's doing is it's oversampling. It's taking a 36 megapixel shot and a 5 megapixel shot. So the 5 megapixel shot is able to be shared very easily. And what's good on this is you can zoom in and it is effectively lossless zoom, they're calling it. And when you take the shot from here, you can see how good the shot is even with it zoomed in and what they're saying about lossless zoom is you can actually get to the full picture after the fact so you can go ahead and zoom in in different things so let's say that I wanted to make a shot of this little frame with a picture of my dog on it then you can just put this in the app move it to where you need to be and go ahead and resize this thing with minimal loss of clarity so you can see how good this camera is so all of you photographers out there, if you just swipe to the left, you will get all of your manual controls, which is very nice and it's very intuitive too. And if you tap on the screen, you will get focus, but that little bar up top will give you individual settings. So there you can change the white balance and exposure and all that stuff right up there individually. And then when you turn these dials, you can see this right on the screen. So that makes it very good. The viewfinder is very good for you to get the photos that you need. And it also has manual focus too. So you can get that bokeh effect or that blur effect that you need on videos and photos. 
So here are some sample images that I took outside just now with this camera and look at the detail that is on that bug right on that rose petal. It is unbelievable. The clarity on this is incredible and the color replication looks good so far and I will definitely do further testing and give you a whole separate video on just image and 1080p video samples. But here is a 1080p video sample here now just outside just quick on inspection and it is extremely clear. But the only thing that I saw with a little bit of lighting adjustment and color replication here, you can see how that the color changes. But man, is this video clear? I mean, the focus is pretty nice and I will definitely do a separate video on this and upload it on many other conditions, low lighting as well. But man, just on first expansion, this 1080p video looks extremely crisp and clear. So very excited about this camera. And it comes packed with a xenon flash and it does pretty good on low lighting conditions as well without the flash like you can see here under fluorescent lighting very good detail on this picture but if you're planning to use a xenon flash it does do a better job than an led flash as you can see here that it lights up the area pretty good and it's completely dark by the way these shots this was taking it like 2 a.m and even though it overexposes on the flash it does a pretty good job still all right, guys, that about does it for me. And if you want to see the full review, then please subscribe to my channel for I'll have a lot more coverage on the Nokia Lumia 1020 with sample photos. Going to pit it against the Galaxy S4 Zoom and a lot more things. So please subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you want to see in the full review. So please hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video for that helps the channel out a ton. And I appreciate all the views that I get. And please follow me on Twitter at Super Scientific for just news and just general shenanigans. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.